weaning and transportation are often done at the exact same time. People are taking calves off the cows, putting them on the truck, they're going to the auction mart or to the feedlot. And I, and I do, I think that, that we've sort of almost as scientists and veterinarians probably re, we focused on transportation. We named it shipping fever, but when you get right down to it, it's weaning fever that's the problem. And, and one way to, to sort that out and see that that's true statement is that if you look at calves that have been backgrounded, you look at calves that are heavier weights, they're getting transported, they're going through auction marks, they're arriving at the feedlot, and the percentage of calves that get sick in that scenario is very low, very low. And the calves, though, that are coming in the fall after the weaning, they're getting sick. And the question is why? And to me and to our work, we know now it's, it's not the transport, it's the weaning. You know, in, in normal weaning, the milk disappears, the mother stays. That's what happens in nature, especially in matriarchal societies. We said, well, how could you turn off the milk and leave the mother? And one of the things out of Argentina at the time, they were a little plastic things. Instead of these metal containers, they just twisted them apart like a bread tab, and you stuck them in there, and they just snapped kind of back together, held in place in the nose, so we could turn off the milk. And when we did that, we wanted to see what the calves would do and the cows would do, and you know, we didn't change any behavior at all. They didn't bawl, they didn't walk more, they didn't vocalize, you know, and, and they just looked not much different than the control calves that were still nursing. Well, on those calves that wore that tag for five days, we, then we took them out and we separated cows and calves and we watched them, and it's like they didn't complain. But when we thought about it, we said, oh, well, if you go for five days without nursing, you're weaned, that's it. It's like natural weaning. You're weaned. So yeah, if you go to a pasture and all the calves are weaned already and you separate them, that's not a big chaos. And that's what was happening with that two, now we call it two-stage weaning. Take away the milk, let them acclimate or let them get weaned in the presence of the mother and then take away the mother and everything seems to work. And even though it's a lot of work, you know, you have to sort all the cows from the calves, put those tags in, and then five days later, you're going to sort them all again and take it out. But that extra work and that extra stress of going through the chute in no way matches the stress that you see of traditional calves for five days calling and bawling.